Hi there, Gulf Pass. Andrew Rice, and yes, it's lovely at the beach. Uh, this is a beach none of us wish to go to, none of us wish to visit, but every now and then we know the reality is we're going to hit our golf ball into the sand. Now, I know some of you, when you get in here, you're simply looking to get the ball out. We're gonna go a little beyond that today and talk about how to control your distance when you've got one of these greenside bunker shots. And it's more simple than you might think. I'm gonna to touch on some very basic technique, but the main keys here are going to be how can we work on three different shots? And I've got some cones put out on the ground here and a flag. I've got a purple cone, a yellow cone, and then the blue flag. And I'm going to work towards hitting a short shot, a medium shot, and a long shot. And that's really what I'm gonna encourage each of you to practice is let's mix things up. Let's work that variability into our practice, whether it's hitting on the range, chipping around the green, or in the bunker. Here we go. Set up. My feet are slightly wider than I suspect most people might think. My weight is 60, 70% on my front foot. I'm relatively square. Now, here's the kicker. I'm going to control the distance the ball goes. I'm gonna make a practice swing here with the length of my follow through. That's going to determine how far this golf ball goes. It is not, as many of you have shared with me in my golf schools, it is not the length of the backswing. Let's keep that backswing relatively full. Why? Because as this club head enters the sand, it's going to slow down. We need a little backlog of energy so that we can loft this ball up and out of there. So let's give this a go. Start with a short one, Andrew. Good setup. Purple cone, here we go. Full back swing. Oh, oh, you gotta like that, hitting the cone on, the, on camera. Number two, let's see if I can keep my streak alive. I'm going to make, now you'll see there, quite a short follow through, fairly full back swing. I'm gonna extend my follow through a little bit here. This is some lovely sand, I must say. Same setup, same back swing. Maybe a little further than the yellow cone, but not bad. A little medium sized follow through there. And the final one, I'm gonna shoot for that blue flag. The longest of my three shots. And I do have my 58 degree in case anybody's wondering. I would encourage most of you to use your most lofted club for most of your sand shots. Same setup, same backswing here, bigger follow through. And that's going to work quite nicely. I'll take two out of three. Pretty good. Okay, so how are we going to regulate the distance the ball travels out of the sand? We're going to make a fairly full backswing, pretty big, and we're going to regulate that distance with the length of the follow through. Ultimately, we're controlling it with the speed of the club, but the shorter the follow through, the slower that club head travels. You'll start to have some better results and perhaps relieve a little bit of that angst when you step down into the bunker. Give it a go, I hope it helps save you a few strokes.